Big day for HHN news, Universal has come out the gate swinging with another haunted house announcement for Halloween Horror Nights this year, this time an IP shared by both Orlando and Hollywood. This is the first IP to officially be announced for Halloween Horror Nights this year, and it is none other than A Quiet Place. Now, if you haven't seen the Quiet Place movies, Halloween Horror Nights has put up a little blurb, a little description on their social medias that can let you know what to expect when going into this haunted house. The description reads, Silence your screams if you want to survive the terrifying post-apocalyptic world, where creatures hunt down anyone who makes a sound. And with IP announcements, it is customary that they drop some sort of video teaser, and this one is no different. So we're going to roll the clip and then come back and talk about it afterwards. Warning. Unusual audio visual activity in your They hear you. They hunt you. A quiet place. Only at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, where horror lives. Few things I want to note. First of all, I really love this teaser. I like how suspenseful it is. It's very eerie. I'm definitely getting that tone for the haunted house this year. I think this is going to be a very eerie, very scary haunted house if they're able to pull it off. I really like the connections to the Fear Cannot Be Contained video they released a couple weeks ago, showing what lives underneath Universal, the sirens, the gate. I love getting a good look at that gate. It looks really creepy, really freaky. And I just love that they're tying this all in as a part of the marketing for this year as part of the event this year on both coasts. I love that they're utilizing ASL in the trailer because they're going to be utilizing ASL in the haunted house itself, which is really cool. It's going to bring a really unique experience to this haunted house, unlike anything we've ever seen before, which I love. I love when Halloween Horror Nights is still able to find new methods of haunted house design. Now, it has been said that this is based on A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part 2, not A Quiet Place Day 1. Makes sense as the first two movies have been out for quite a while. With the IP houses, they like to recreate scenes, so it makes sense to recreate scenes that have already, you know, been seen for quite a while. Plus, it's a completely different set of characters. The Abbott family, we've seen two movies with them. We're a little more familiar with them, and they're a little more rooted in the world. Day 1 takes place, quite literally, on Day 1 when the monsters arrive into the world. And the first two films take place when they're kind of rooted in the apocalypse already, which I think is a better setting for a haunted house. Even though I'm not a big fan of apocalypse-based haunted houses, I've made that known before, I think this was definitely a better choice for centering the story. In terms of specific scenes we could see from the Quiet Place franchise brought to life at Halloween Horror Nights, we are going to be visiting the first film's farmhouse that serves as the Abbott family safe haven, including the cellar where Evelyn Abbott gives birth under the looming menace of these creatures. With this announcement, we also got some brand new event merchandise, a new t-shirt, as well as a heat reactive mug. Both items are available in the theme parks, both Orlando and Hollywood, and I'm guessing the items are also going to be available on the Halloween Horror Nights Orlando website very, very soon. So if you're interested in this Quiet Place event merch, you can go pick it up there. Overall, I'm really curious to see what this brings to the table. A Quiet Place isn't like my favorite horror series or anything, but I think it's a very unique one for Halloween Horror Nights, as I mentioned before. I think they have the potential to do some really interesting things here, both scare-wise and set-wise, but only time will tell. We will have to see when we get to this haunted house. But another piece of news that did drop today alongside this announcement were the dates and tickets for 
for Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood is confirmed to be running from September 5th to November 3rd, 2024, and pretty much looks like all the ticket tiers are available on the Universal website. So super stoked for you guys, y'all finally got an announcement, tickets, dates, and a haunted house. Tickets also went on sale today for the Premium Scream Night here in Orlando. I did a full video talking about Premium Scream Night, I'll link it up there in the cards, but it's basically a shriek peak, as they describe it, of Halloween Horror Nights. Special ticketed event, limited crowds, all you can eat food. One night only, August 29th, those tickets are available on the Universal website. So if you're interested in the Premium Scream Night, go visit the Universal Orlando website and secure your ticket, because I'm not sure how long they're going to be up there. Anyways, as I mentioned, this was a big day for Halloween Horror Nights news. House announcements, tickets on sale, new merch, really exciting stuff. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about this Haunted House announcement? Are you excited for A Quiet Place to come to Halloween Horror Nights this year? It's definitely not my most anticipated Haunted House for this year, especially with the amazing sounding originals that we've already got announced. But I'm very curious, again, how they're going to adapt this film series. And I know I gotta rewatch A Quiet Place and Quiet Place Part 2 to refresh myself on what we're gonna see in this haunted house. If you like videos like this one about Halloween Horror Nights of the past, present, and future, including updates for this year's events, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It lets me know you like videos like this and you want me to make more of them. We are now in the IP announcement season, my friends, so we have more IPs to come, and I will, of course, make videos when those houses get announced. But until then, stay spooky, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.